I apologise if you can hear the problematic child crying outside my window at any point during this video. Hey guys, I am back. It is me, Fab Ham, with a bonus video. Woo! So I don't know about you guys, but my favourite part of favourites videos are always the bit at the end, the stuff category, where all the sort of a miscellaneous stuff is thrown into. So I thought I would dedicate an entire video on my channel to the stuff. So without further ado, here are a few of my favourite things, bits and bobs, stuff if you will. The first thing has already made its debut on my channel, but it is worth a reappearance. It's my little shower speaker. This was £7 from Primark, and I honestly don't know how I survived showers without this. It just makes it so much more enjoyable, and it was only £7, so you literally just Bluetoothy music into the speaker, have a right old party in your shower. The second thing that I've been loving is an app. It is a game called Best Fiends. Now I saw a lot of people talking about this game, so I decided to jump on the bandwagon. Since jumping on the bandwagon, the bandwagon has stolen my life. <laughs> this game is basically like a puzzle game and it is so addicting. Literally, if I fail my A-levels, <laughs> this game is the reason why. <laughs> but I like to live in the moment, so it'll all be worth it. So the whole point of the game is that you have to choose your team of your little cute characters to defeat the slugs that are taking over the town. There's like over four 150 levels in this game as well and they have three new ones every week so doesn't look like my addiction is going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> I'll put a little clip of it in here so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So to grow your cute little team I don't think I'm actually supposed to think that they're cute because they're bugs and slugs but I think they're adorable. To grow them you've got to collect your diamonds, your gold blocks, your meteor mites and basically to collect those things you've got to defeat the slugs and to defeat your slugs you've got to match up all your same coloured things like for example putting all the green leaves together. So you defeat your slugs, you get your rewards like your meteor mites, you make your team stronger. I'm telling you boys and girls those slugs keep getting stronger and stronger so you've got to make your team as strong as possible. Best Fiends is giving away an in-game gift tomorrow which is Sunday the 19th of June so if you are not playing already get on that bandwagon and you can get your in-game gift tomorrow. So make sure you click the link in the description below to download the game for free or you can download it on the Apple App Store or Google Play and when you get as addicted to this game as I am you will thank me my friends. <laughs> I'm currently on level 32. It takes me quite a while. I feel like for me it's a bit of a brain training game. <laughs> if like me it's taken you quite a while to build up your diamonds and your gold blocks and your meteor mites you can actually purchase diamonds and things in the app if you want to move ahead faster. I think I'm very close to getting to that point. I think I'm going to have to invest because I am on this. <laughs> but I know that Gabby's on like level 180 something or other. So it's my aim to beat her. If you're watching this Gabs, the battle is on. The battle has well and truly commenced. This ain't going to be bugs versus slugs anymore. It's hand versus Gabs. <laughs> if you already play Best Fiends, let me know what level you're on down in the description below. And maybe together we can join to take over Gabs. So make sure you go and download this game and keep me up to date with what level you're on. And if you overtake me, I will be very jealous. <laughs> Those slugs are going to fear Fab Han. I'm going to get them all. Don't you worry, lads. Right, so moving on. My third favourite is Love Island. This is a program that started on ITV2. It's on every single night for six weeks with all of these favourites combined. I've literally just lost my social life recently, but I'm not complaining. I'm having a great time. I'll briefly explain the program in case you don't watch it. So basically, like I'd say 12 to 14 people have been putting this house together in Spain. They're all young people, they're all single, and they have to couple up and they're all trying to find love. But where it gets interesting is when one couple decide they don't want to be a couple anymore so they've got to separately couple up with another couple who are happy in their couple and oh my gosh it's just drama in a nutshell if you like reality tv and if you like drama go and watch love island i am obsessed with it if you do watch it my current favorites are probably Cara and Nathan and I do really like Olivia as well but my opinion changes like every single episode because so much drama happens in one episode so love island defo been a fave my full favorite is actually some music I've rediscovered some of my old classic tunes and I am loving life with these tunes, I'm telling you. The first one is a song called Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. This was my favourite song for years when I was younger. Then I kind of forgot about it. I'm sorry, Natasha, if you're watching. But I rediscovered it recently and it has been on repeat 24-7. I have no shame. Another song that I've rediscovered is The Tide Is High by Atomic Kittens. Who remembers that absolute banger? <laughs> and my third favourite song is the classic Put Your Records On by... What's their name? Kareen? Kareen? Or Kareen Riley Bay or something? All three of those songs bring back so many childhood memories, so I'll leave them all linked in the description below so you can go and listen to them. I've been having a grand old time with these old tunes. I think it's because I went to my friends a couple of weeks ago. We basically had like a movie night without the movies and we just listened to loads of old songs and we had like the lyrics up and we were singing along, doing a bit of karaoke with all of these old tunes. So that's where I initially rediscovered my love for them and now I'm obsessed. <laughs> my fifth favourite 
is this Snapchat filter. It just makes me laugh every time. It never fails me. <laughs> I think this is actually the best I've ever looked in my life, to be honest. <laughs> right, so there's my little techie section done. Did you notice they were all like technological? Yeah, good plan in hand. Nice one. I'm sure you all noticed. So now I'm gonna move on to like the random of the random. My sick favorite thing, plants. I love plants. You know how you get like a crazy cat lady? I've turned into a crazy plant lady. Every time I go to Ikea, I can't leave without plants. I've built myself up a little plant family, looking around, I'm quite proud of them all. So I'm gonna introduce you quickly. Most of them are like plants you don't have to water a lot because I'm not too great at that. This is Colin the cactus. He was one of the first plants that I ever got. He's looking a bit dry. Let's ignore that. The second plant in my little family, I got at the same time as Colin. This is Sally. If you are very observant, you will notice that Colin and Sally are actually in my end slate at the end of every video. The little bit that says previous video that no one actually pays attention to. Make sure you look at this one. Colin and Sally make an appearance. If you've never noticed that, I'm offended. I've written all their names on the bottom, so I don't forget them. Her name begins with S because she's not a cactus. She's a succulent. So Sally the succulent, Colin the cactus. Do you get my drift? The next one is a bit sad and I feel a little bit ashamed. This is Olive the orchid. All of her flowers fallen off um yeah not much to say about that one she will be forever in our thoughts but i will reuse the pot in her memory thanks olive you've served me well such a bad owner on a slightly more positive note the next three plants are the cutest plants you've ever seen in your life so if you're not sitting down sit down now this is carmen the cactus look how little she is i love her so much this is Callie the cactus. I'm not actually sure if she's a cactus. She looks quite cactus-like, doesn't she? These three are brothers and sisters, by the way. So far, we've got Carmen, Callie, and this is Carlos. Carlos the cactus, what a little cutie. And these three came together in a little pack from Ikea. In their little pots and everything. How good is that? It's quite cheap too. I'm not even ashamed to say that they're like my BFFs. And finally, this is Pamela. Pamela the plant, because I don't know what type of plant she is, so she begins with a P. Had a bit of a disaster with Pamela recently. Excuse my face, literally in the forest. I thought she died because you see the white bits on her? When I woke up once, they were all brown and crispy, but I just cut them off and gave her some water and she's back to life. Loving life, aren't you, Pam? I feel like we've bonded now that you've got to know my plant family. But anyway, moving on, my next favourite is Cadbury's Oreo chocolate. Ignore the um, the new bigger bar sign and ignore that it's practically all gone. This is my favourite chocolate ever. In fact, this is my favourite food ever. Maybe other than a roast dinner, because I do love roast potatoes. But this chocolate, the best chocolate, hands down. Congratulations to Cadbury's for inventing this and congratulations to my taste buds for finding it. My next favourite is a recent DIY. When I say DIY, I mean print off a quote and put it in a frame. I'll put a clip of it in here because I can't take it off the wall because I can't be bothered, quite frankly. <laughs> but this is my new favourite quote. It says, she who is brave is free. I literally just found this on Google Images, made it into a Word document and then printed it off on A3 paper, ordered an A3 frame, Bob's your uncle. It's a really nice feature in my room. It looks really nice with my three little cactuses sitting underneath it. I think I've said this on my vlog channel, but I feel like this quote resonates differently with everyone else. Resignates, big word. And it's sort of very specific to everyone's situation. And for me, this quote is very relatable because I'm trying to be more brave. Now, I don't want to be that person that's like, oh, I love copper so much, but I do love copper so much. So here are a few of my favorite copper things. The first is this copper frame from Primark. It's copper, obviously. It's 3D. It's got handwritten confetti from Adele's concert in it because I'm also that person. But isn't it so cute? My bedroom is currently black and white with copper accents. These are my copper accents. Next copper thing I've got is kind of copper, kind of not. I can get away with it. This candle from Primark. This is in the scent French vanilla. It smells like normal vanilla to me. I don't know what makes it particularly French, but it smells good. That's that, it's just a candle and it's copper. The next thing is this. This was also a Primark candle, but I burnt the whole candle out. And then I scraped out the inside, put my cotton buds in it. Living Pinterest life hack right there. Next thing is another candle holder. Can you see it? Can you see it? Maybe. This was from New Look. It was on the little section where you're paying by the till and they tempt you with all those little bits and bobs that you try and refrain from but you really, really like. This was there. It's got a standard little tea light in it and it's just geometric. I feel like as soon as you buy something that's geometric, it makes you look more cool than you actually are. This does that for me. Next thing is this. My name's Hannah. Hannah begins with a H. I like copper bought a copper H. This was from Oliver Bonus. You can get these pretty much anywhere. So I've got that just in case I forget that my name begins with H. Also got this cushion behind me. Can you see it? Kind of a coppery colour too. It's cute. Not gonna lie, I thought I had more copper things than that, but whatever. I'm gonna keep this section in the video anyway. Moving on. Colourful pens. I previously mentioned that I'm doing A-levels at the minute. Right in the middle of my exams, yeah, I'm deciding to show you that I like cactuses. I know this sounds so sad even before I say it, but these pens are making it so much more bearable. <laughs> Honestly, when I'm revising, if I make it in a colourful pen, it's so much more appealing. These pens are the Stabilo 
0.88 fine liners. There's not really much else to say about them other than they are getting me through. So thanks Stabilo for making my life seem more Stabilo? Stable? I was trying to make a joke but it didn't work. Story of my life. And the final thing is possibly the most random thing that has ever graced the internet. This wrapping paper makes me happy. This is from Paper Chase. It's brown, it's got neon pink spots on it. The spots feel nice. They feel a little bit fuzzy, but not unbearably fuzzy. This wrapping paper is very thick. It can be used for multiple purposes. It's just pretty, isn't it? That's all there is to say, really. It was quite expensive, though. Three pounds for one roll. Is that expensive for wrapping paper? I don't know. I'm not an adult. Right, so those are all of my random favourites. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope this video gave you some sort of satisfaction remember to go and download best fiends if you haven't already and you can get your gift tomorrow but for now i hope you enjoyed this random little bonus video thanks for watching and i'll see you next week bye